There was some concern from your clan uh, after Pascal went on the uh, the, the weight because uh, it was not 175. It paused at 175 for a moment and then it went up to 175.1. Okay. And we were like, whoa, you know. And because uh, <laughs> if he's over, you're kind of busted. But uh, Michelle assured me that it stopped at 175 and it moved because he started pressing. So, well, not a big deal. But the, um, uh, the, the, the act of uh, Sergei Kavanagh who point the finger to, to one person, uh, that might be uh, some kind of a deal. You don't seem to be in a good state of mind. You seem stressed. You don't do that before a fight, no? He's really, really, really hungry right now. <laughs> and he's been in a really, really honorary mood for the last two or three days, which is normal for him before a fight. Normal? And he's usually uh, very edgy before a way, and this is completely normal for him. He's always used to going into the other guy's hometown. He was exactly the same way um, in Wales before he won it. He's not a nice guy at the way. Not a nice guy when the bell rings either. But he'll be a lot nicer in about an hour once he gets his stomach full. Because he's, you know, they, these guys struggle to make weight. That's part of the game. And uh, he made weight last night. He stepped on the scale. He was at 175. So to be safe, he hasn't had anything to eat since then. So he's just really old. What's your biggest concern about the, the fight tomorrow? You know, my biggest concern is always that the fight happens. Yeah. It will happen? So, yes, because things can go wrong. Uh, look, when, when that fight started the other day, or that fight, yeah. that yeah. altercation of the way, I looked scared. I wasn't scared for me. I was scared, oh my God, what if somebody to twist their ankle, gets a cut, hurts themselves, and the fight can't happen. Um, that's all I worry about. Okay. Once we get past the lane and we get to the arena, my next concern is I want the fights to be great. Just, the fans come back for a great fight, no matter who it's And you're confident that your fighter will do the, his job and win the fight? Yes, see, that's his job. My job is to get him there. So I'm almost done with my job, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. I got him here, I got him in the arena, I got him the paycheck, and he has to go in there and finish the job. You're very pleased uh, with uh, everything uh, that went this week? Oh yeah, this has been a pleasure. We've had such a nice time here in Montreal, working with Box, John Bedard, and his very professional staff, Pierre um, Duke, who is just a wonderful, diplomatic, professional businessman. Uh, I'm not used to that in my school, so this is great. Cool. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Mark Ramsey told us that uh, Jean Pascal told him that if he forces him to have a face-off, there might not be a fight tomorrow. So, uh, do you think it's better that they didn't face off today? Well, now that you tell me that, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it's just more to talk about. It's fine. Um, I don't think it will have any effect on the fight. If, if, if um, Bernard Hopkins didn't get into Sergey's head, I don't think he's the master. I don't think anything that happens here is going to have an effect. But yes, I. On balance now, I guess I'm glad the fight's going to happen. What did you think of Pascal's behavior? I've never seen that happen before, so I was a little surprised. I mean, I've been doing this the first time I went to a weigh in was in 1977. I've never seen it happen. So I've been to thousands of them. So um, uh, it was interesting, and, and I wondered what was up, and now you've explained it. So it's cool. Was it like a smoke screen from the Pascal to Ken I mean, is, uh, Pascal didn't want to face up with Sergey. Is this a possibility with your experience? Hey, I've never seen it happen before, so I don't really know what to make of it. But, uh, hey, you know, that's the great thing about my job. Something new happens every day. We don't run out of stuff. <laughs> so if I, if I understand correctly what you said earlier, you're not concerned at all that Pascal may have got into all that. Oh he is the most strong-minded person I've ever met. And I met Andrew Holyfield a long time ago, who was the most strong-minded person I ever knew until I met Sergei Kovalev. So, not even a little bit. At what weight is he going to be entering the ring tomorrow, do you know? Well, they have, they have a second day weigh-in because there's an idea of time along the line. So, uh, they have to weigh 185 tomorrow morning. They can't wait more. So, I imagine it'll be between yeah. 185 and 190. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.